Hello everyone, Dee Dee here today, and I would thought that I would start off my next Artist Gang post with a three-part series. So today will be the first part, and then in my next two posts I'll have the second and third part. And I'm working on a triptych, a three-paneled piece that will all go together as a one designed project or art piece. And uh, here you can see today's panel. Uh, it's intended to be the middle panel. Um, but I wanted to start with it because it kind of sets the mood for the whole thing. So I picked up these wooden signs at Target in their dollar spot, and I think they were just a dollar each. I picked up probably 20 of them. They're such a cool size, almost four by six, and they are all wood, probably MDF or something, but they have um, thick walls on them and the back is hollow, so it's almost like a canvas, but they are wood and really great to work on, nice and stiff. I started by sanding the paint that's on the outside. I didn't need to sand the entire thing down to the wood, I just needed to get some grit um, on the, get some texture and tooth back onto the surface so that I could then gesso it and prime it to paint on later. So I used, a, I used a very fine grit sandpaper and sanded down the sides and the cover and then I gave the the block about four coats of Liquitex gesso. So I really like the thickness of it but sometimes I need a little extra coverage so I just gave a layer of gesso, dried it, a layer of gesso, and dried it. And then after that was uh, done and ready I got out some golden fluid acrylic paint in titanium white and I spread it in my tray and then I used a roller stamp that has dots to apply the paint to the bottom portion of my now very primed canvas. And it's a little bit hard to see straight on but when I tilt it in the light then you can see how that dot pattern has transferred. It's very cool. And now I've gotten out <clears throat> excuse me, some golden fluid acrylic in carbon black and I've put it in a little container and I've gotten out some really thin brushes. One of them is um, a liner brush, kind of like a script brush. It, the one that I'm using now, it has very long um, bristles on it. And I, I know that I want to kind of start with a black tree in the middle of my triptych. So uh, knowing that the size of this canvas is is pretty small. I wanted to start with a very small brush and I also wanted the branches to be kind of wispy. So paintbrushes come flat and they come round and they come thick and they come thin but I knew or yeah I'll, I'll go that way. I knew that I wanted these kind of thin wispy branches so I got a thin wispy paintbrush. And you can use this paintbrush for all types of things, script and small detail, but it has very long bristles on it that make it great for, um, I keep using the word wispy, but, but that's really kind of what comes to mind. So wispy branches and like if you were doing script or something like that, it would be really great for that too. And just so you know, I am dipping my paintbrush into the paint, but I also have a little uh, spot of water in my cup, and then I'm also blotting off extra paint onto my under paper. And so this keeps the paintbrush from being overloaded because the bristles are so small. If I were to go directly from the paint to the canvas, I would get a very large splotch of paint, and I want very thin lines that are kind of coming out of the tree trunk as branches. So I am blotting off some of that extra paint and I'm keeping the paint even even thinner than it already is by also using water with it. And now uh, I am kind of basing my tree, maybe onto a hilltop or something, but I'm kind of just creating a horizon so that it doesn't look like my tree is floating. And because I'm using fluid acrylic, as I add water to it, then it really starts to get this great transparency and this run effect. And so I kind of just play back and forth with that a little bit right now. And I'll, I'll uh, blot a little bit up and then put some more down where I put those dots earlier in the white acrylic paint, it's kind of acting as a resist and showing up as a texture and pattern underneath the acrylic paint that I'm working with.
And as I mentioned before, this is just one of a three-part series. And this panel isn't even quite finished as it looks right now. Once I start working on the second and third panels in my second and third videos, then I'll go back and kind of play back and forth between all three of them to really hone them to um, hone them in and bring them together as a continued art piece rather than just three separate panels. You can really see right there how cool that those dots are looking as a resist with that titanium white paint. After I got back from class, I decided that I wanted more branches to my tree. He does look kind of creepy there, and I it kind of is something I was going for, this kind of like hollow or just um, kind of a little bit of foreboding tree in the in the sky um, but I also felt that he was a little barren so I did take a couple more minutes here and paint in some more branches still long and wispy but I just wanted there to be more oomph in the top that's a good artistic word isn't it oomph The great thing about fluid acrylics is while they're wet, you can add water to them and really spread them around, a little bit similar to watercolor, but they keep most of their opaqueness. But uh, once they're dry, they're permanent, just like acrylic paint. I did just stamp, uh, to thine own self be true, the saying by Shakespeare from one of Donna Downey's sets. And um, I stamped it in archival ink by Ranger on a just a piece of... Um, well, it could be cardstock if, if that's what you have, like a scrap or something. But I, I just use sometimes uh, a note card for things like this. They, usually they have lines on one side and they're plain on the other, and I just have a whole stack of them. And now I'm using Golden's Fluid Matte Medium to, well, basically glue down the saying in place. And that basically will be it for this... Uh, this panel for now. I will come back in the other two videos and do a couple other things to it like I mentioned earlier to kind of bring it all together but I thought this is a good starting place um, and yeah that's it so when you're doing fluid medium right put the medium on the bottom and then you put your piece that you're gluing down and then you put your medium on top. Alright I will see you back in a month I think. Thanks guys.